A man took a picture of his wife on their boat. Then he spotted something floating in the ocean. It had been a lovely day out on the ocean waves. But as the celebrations on deck continued, one member of the party spotted something in the water. Soon, the boater realized that what he first took for a flotation device was actually a living creature and it needed their help. In May 2016, the media highlighted a story about two couples out at sea. Bruce and Robin Connect were sharing a joint celebration with their two friends Michael and Sean Saar, with the festivities taking place on a boat in the Gulf of Mexico. The trip actually wasn't just a one-time event. In fact, it was part of a yearly tradition. Yes, the four Odessa, Florida inhabitants met up each year to celebrate their combined birthdays by taking a boat a few miles out to sea. It was Bruce who saw the distant object first. Although he didn't realize what it was at first, I thought it was a floating buoy, he subsequently told ABC News. We were going about 20 miles an hour, so it was hard to see. The boaters were surprised to see that on closer inspection, the bright orange object was in fact moving. It was clearly alive. But whatever it was, it appeared to be struggling. I saw two brown eyes, Bruce recalled. I almost thought it was a child. I turned the boat around instantly and headed towards it, he added. It was at this point that the party realized what it was they were looking at. The mystery item wasn't a buoy, or a boy for that matter but rather it was a little Jack Russell Terrier dog in a pet's life preserver. The boaters had no idea where the animal had come from or indeed how it had traveled there. They were sure though that it was pleased to see them. The small dog couldn't wait to get into the approaching boat. In fact, he headed straight towards the party. As soon as he saw the bow of the boat come around, he started paddling as fast as he could towards us, recalled Michael, who had subsequently plucked the Jack Russell from the water. And upon examining the dog, the party received a welcome surprise. Health-wise, their new companion seemed no worse for his experience at sea. Yet that still left one big question. Where had he come from? Well, Sean soon discovered the answer to that when she made radio contact with the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard said that earlier that morning, they had a report of a dog overboard, she explained. The dog, whose name would later be revealed as Jägermeister, had been missing for three hours. The party described Jägermeister, and the Coast Guard consequently made a note of the boat's location to send out a rescue vessel. The boaters, meanwhile, were happy to look after Jägermeister. He was shaking like a leaf, Robin later told the New York Daily News. As a result, the party made warming up Jägermeister a priority. We got towels and wrapped him and got him calmed down. It took about 30 minutes, Robin added. Despite what must have been a traumatic experience, though, Jägermeister's cheery personality was unaffected. He was very friendly and very sweet, Robin recalled. After he got calmed down, he hopped up on the top deck of our boat and sunbathed. Robin continued, Jägermeister's fondness for the sea was further confirmed when the Coast Guard arrived later. But how did Jägermeister end up in the ocean away all on his own? Well, the dog had been on a boat trip with one of his owners, Joey Myrick, and had stopped their boat to check something inside the hull. Although he'd only been gone for a few minutes, it was still long enough for Jägermeister to jump overboard, and Myrick had been worried sick ever since. He later explained that Jägermeister usually swims to a nearby island when the boat stops as part of his regular routine. Thanks to the rescue efforts of the Canucks and the Sars, however, Myrick was soon reunited with his beloved dog. Moreover, his rescuers were able to witness their reunion firsthand. Robin subsequently described the moment as wonderful. It was heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. He ran up and the dog started licking his face, Robin continued. We were all crying. It was really a very, very heartwarming moment. It was very happy. ABC News added that both Myrick and Jägermeister's other owner, who was unnamed, were ecstatic with the rescue. Myrick described Jägermeister as being like a child to him, the report continued. This was his baby, Michael confirmed to the New York Daily News. That was probably his life, was that dog. 
So it was a blessing that we could be a part of that. But it wasn't just the boaters who saved Jägermeister. Myrick also attributes the dog's survival to his life preserver. If you love someone, whether they're a dog or a person, put a life preserver on them, Myrick advised. 